Hello everyone, my name is Nusa and I'm a model. And I know what most of you are probably thinking right now. There are two options. Half of you are thinking she's a model. How does she have enough brain to stand and do a TED talk? And then half of you are probably thinking that I have this glamorous life where I do nothing and get paid. Well, let me get this straight. Both answers to those thoughts are no. I get very irritated when people think differently about modeling. For example, they think that we do nothing, we take pictures and get paid. Well, no. As I said, I have very small experience. I've been modeled for one and a half year, but from my experience, I've learned that modeling is really hard. When I first heard of the TED Talk, I knew I wanted to participate. And I always kind of knew back in my mind what I wanted to talk about. But I was really scared of what people would think of me and that they would think that there's not much to me other than modeling. But that's when I realized that I would prove to people that I'm strongest and I am smart and I'm not dumb. And no, modeling isn't as easy as they think it is. One of the best um, inspiring people in my life was nowadays supermodel, Carly Kloss. She dedicated her life to be a model and also she created a company called Code with Klossy where she teaches coding lessons all over America. I work really hard to balance both school and modeling and when people think differently about me, I get really irritated. Now, I personally think that people change mind when they first hear that you're a model. For example, I'm talking to a person and I'm thinking, oh, I think I made a good impression, but after I say that I'm a model, I can see it in their eyes, they're completely different. Now, it may sound that it's very bad, but of course, stuff has good sides and bad sides. So let's first talk about perks of being a model. Of course, the best part of it is that you get to travel all over the world, and you get this amazing opportunity where you get paid for it. Then, you also get to meet these creative people that are behind clothes. Also, you get to be creative with everything. The way you pose, your expressions, the way you walk. That's why I hate when people call the term cloth hanger, because we are more than that. And I personally think that deep down, if you do love what you do, you will not, it will not feel like a job for you. So now, as I said, I've talked about perks, now I want to talk about bedsides. For example, you are tired because sometimes you get fitted in 30 outfits in one photo shoot. Or you can never make plans because sometimes the work hours are flexible so they get to be from 2 hours or 10 hours. Also, you have to be very healthy and work out, which I'm not either of them, so I have to make sure I'm going to be healthy in the future. And lastly, of course, the worst part is rejection. I remember when I first went to my first casting and I didn't get cast, I got rejected. I remember sobbing in my bathroom about it. But since then, I've had so many rejections and so many castings that I got casted and I did get the job. But at the end of the day, all the rejections make you stronger and let you believe in yourself. This is a video um, of a fa fashion week season. At first you go to fittings. After that is hair and makeup, which you get done in the backstage. After that, there's rehearsals where you get taught how to walk and the way they want you to walk. Then you get fitted in clothes. And once more, there's one other rehearsal the final one. And lastly, there's show, which has amazing energy, and people are very happy after it, and they feel like they've accomplished something, and everyone is congratulating designers, and it's just great feeling. So as you can see from the video, it's not as glamorous as you think it is. At the end of the day, as I said, if you love your job, it won't feel like job, and that's how I am about modeling. Thank you for your attention. Uh, if I even made the tiniest difference in the way you look at models, and if I 
even made tiniest difference in perspective in the way you look at models. I think my mission is done here. Lastly, I want to end my talk with a quote by Yolanda Hadid, mother of two amazing supermodels, Gigi and Bella. And it says that if you aren't the nicest, hard, most hardworking girl in the industry, there's going to be someone prettier, nicer, and more hardworking. Thank you.